hi loves and welcome back to my channel make sure to click that subscribe button before we even start talking here i am going to be recording a video that was requested on how to get into Bentley University. I thought this might be able to help some people that are interested in Bentley and wanna know how they can get in. So it's gonna be a little different for people that are junior seniors versus people that are kind of starting high school. So if you're actually starting high school, then my first tip to you is utilize high school. High school is pretty much like a free four years to just build up your resume for college like if that's what you want if you're like college is my end goal then th these four years are just free to build your resume so pretty much like do everything like just try out everything in the beginning see if you like it at least it gets to be put on your resume because that's what they're gonna see and they're gonna see the experiences that you've had and how they've shaped you as a person so don't just like do everything for the resume actually like as you enter high school, do things that you enjoy. Because I know that Bentley is very focused on individuality, like individual <laughs> Who are you as a person and are you ambitious? I think some of the qualities that I've noticed as my freshman year, people that are at Bentley are ambitious, uh, rich. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Uh, there are a lot of rich people, but there are just as many people that, like me or maybe like you, that don't have a lot, a lot of money, just come from normal family. Um, ambitious, smart, and involved are three things that's very common among all of Bentley students that I've noticed. They are very, very, very involved. Is that all of them are like willing to get into everything and anything. They're like, join me in this club and that club, I'll do everything. And I think that those three things that I've mentioned are very, very important to kind of like highlight on your resume. And if you watching this right now, I'm like, heck yeah, that's me. Like, one of those things are me. Then you really should highlight that on your resume, in your essay, because I've noticed that's very common among Bentley students. For me personally, I played three sports. I played soccer, basketball, and tennis. And if you are a sports person, use that to your advantage. I feel like Bentley loves sports players. For some reason, I feel like everybody around me played a sport or multiple sports in high school. And I'm serious about that, I'm not lying. Everybody played sports almost. If you love sports, get involved in that and really highlight that and say like how sports taught you communication and leadership and just being able to work through problems and working as a team. And that is so, so, so important is that part, is that team. I swear I hear teams every day at Bentley. My professors, just everybody around, like teams, like everybody's gonna work in teams, in group work. They just stress that, that you need to be able to have those skills. So honestly, if you can highlight that, alone that you're really good at working in a group environment i swear you're gonna get it about like it's just it, it's probably gonna happen and then i also was valedictorian which kind of helped really helped but in terms of grades you honestly don't have to be valedictorian to get into bentley there were 17 salutatorian slash valedictorians in my class and i didn't make it into the honors program and a lot of the honors program people weren't like top in their class so I think it's just a combination of everything. Make sure that your grades are good. I mean, as long as you have A's, if you have a B or two, like that's fine, that's okay. I think Bentley's not like, you need to be perfect, GPA, everything. They're not like that at all. So don't get too hung up on your grades, honestly. Maintain good grades, don't take the easiest classes. I mean, if you have taken like CP, I don't know what you guys do, but like, like the lowest classes each and not taking like an honors or like an AP or whatever, then you're probably not gonna get into Bentley. It's just, it's just not gonna happen. So another thing I'd say is important is other than the easiest sports in school, which really pair together well and make a great application. For those of you that don't play sports, it's okay. So I was actually involved in the musical every year, my school, so I got involved in like the performing arts and I did take some theater classes so I could really like show that I'm able to do a bunch of different things. If you have like a music program or something or like a musical that happens every year, get involved. Like even if you're a techie, I don't know if that's really cool at your school or anything, but at our school it was very, very popular to have our musical every fall. Another thing that was very important for me 
was my essay. It was about the life skills program. Uh, I don't know if any of you have a life skills program, which is for mentally, physically challenged children at your school. I was able to be a peer helper and work with them in a period every other day for junior and senior year. And that probably like changed my life. Like my perception of things just changed. It really humbles you and makes you realize like how special life is. And that was what I wrote my essay on, my experiences and life skills. You guys don't necessarily have to copy me, but that really showed like who I am and my values because I'm very, I'm very spiritual and really believe, believe that everything's happening for a reason. And I really said that in my essay. First, write down who you are. I need you to write a couple characteristics down of who you are, the best adjectives to describe yourself or nouns, I don't know, and find something in your life that really portrays one or two or all of those things and write about it. Cause it'll come from the heart. It'll really show who you are. If you're just like, all right, I'm gonna do what, what Gabby says and I'm gonna be part of a sports team or life skills. And then I'm gonna write about that and how it changed me and like all that stuff. Like it's not coming from the heart. It's coming from like the standard set things that you're doing to get into Bentley. Everything needs to come from the heart and mean something to you. They can see right through that. I guess my last couple tips would be if I had anything to say about early decision or regular decision, I would say if you are a very top applicant and you are very confident in your resume and who you are and your essay and every all your credentials, early decision. I say early decision all the way, but that's what I did. If you are like an average student and you're not sure, do regular because you'll probably get in. Or you'll be put on the wait list and I'm sure you'll get in off the wait list. Don't be too hung up because Bentley's not the school that's very strict about these certain like grades that you have to have. If you're below average on the SAT, don't worry. It's fine. You can still get in. I'm dead serious, guys, from my heart. I believe that. And my final say on this would be to find all the things that you've done, whether it's volunteer work or anything, to show that those are who you are. Bentley is honestly not looking for somebody that has a 4.0 GPA and didn't do anything else. That's my final say, is that Bentley's really looking for the average intellectual students out there, or a little bit higher, but that are involved and that are so good at working as a team. They really preach that. And they love hockey, so if you're a hockey player, hey, you might just get in. I'm serious, they're obsessed with hockey. Like, hockey gets everything. <laughs> they get everything. But yeah, guys, I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any other questions, DM me. I feel like, there's so much more I could touch upon, um, but I don't know each of you guys individually. So I can't really help you through just one video. So if you have more questions about it and you need maybe me to review your application or something, I'm sure, I'm sure I can help you. Don't be afraid to DM me and make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it and you found it helpful. And lastly, click that subscribe button if you aren't for more videos, because if you do have any other requests on videos, I will make them just like I made this one. And good luck with your application to Bentley or if you're applying like years from now, but it is an amazing school and I love it so much. And you would make a great decision to apply to Bentley and go. They have the best career services ever. And I'm serious about that. They got rated number one on Princeton Review. If you go to Bentley, you will find a job then I can guarantee you that. That's like a promise. You will have a job. As long as you don't like, don't want a job or you don't try hard at all. Like, <laughs> and it's a difficult school, but it's, it's doable. You have so much time. Another tip is to not be stressed out about college. Take a deep breath and don't do what I did because I flipped out and I was so nervous that everything was going to be so hard. I was going to fail, but you don't. Honestly, I find college easier than high school and I don't know if I'm the only one, but you have so much free time to do everything and it's just doable. It's so doable and you have so much fun. So I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching this video as always. Make sure to watch my previous videos. Stay tuned for my next video.